All right, so I figured I'd shoot another video and revisit the Wonderberry, also known as Sunberry. Uh, they go under a couple different names. Uh, you might see websites selling it as Sunberry, another one selling it as Wonderberry, another one selling it as Deadly Nightshade even. You know, it's not Deadly Nightshade. Uh, it is in the Deadly Nightshade family. This berry is actually... Uh, considered by some people poisonous and risky to eat because if you eat them at the wrong time, they can cause toxic problems inside of you. I don't necessarily think they're going to kill you, but if you eat enough of the berries that have the chemical in it, I forgot the name of the chemical, a cyanamin or something it's called. If you eat enough of these that have that chemical in it, it will eventually do kidney and liver damage. And if you don't want you don't want any damage even one berry begins damaging your kidneys and liver so you don't really want to eat these berries raw yes there are people who come into the comment section and i cook the leaves and i eat the berries green i eat the flowers you could eat the whole plant i eat pepper plant leaves i eat tomato leaves and i never got sick well when that person hits their 60s and they caught a colostomy bag uh, they'll be regretting they did that all right, you're not going to die per se directly from eating the berries right away. You just don't want to consume these berries on a regular basis uh, in that fashion because they can be, like I say, toxic. Yes, some people even refer to it as poisonous, but I really wouldn't say it's poisonous. I would just say they're toxic. Okay, so I have a couple berries down here that are actually ready, and we'll pick it take the whole bract off for you and so that's what the bract generally looks like and these can get quite large I mean as far as the bract goes you can see over here is another one they can get as many as oh I don't know six eight of them on there I've seen them when the plant gets really big it produces really huge bracts and it, these berries are on there and so one of the ways you can tell if they're ripe and this is the easiest way to, to do this Sometimes they're not totally ripe. So one of the easiest ways to tell if they are ripe is you simply squeeze one of the berries. Yes, you're going to get a little gooey on you. Now, you see how it's all kind of green on the inside? That's not totally ripe, but it's good enough. You're not going to get sick from that. Okay? You won't get sick from it. In fact, I'm going to eat that one. I would say wait till they're a little, little riper than that. You don't really want to eat them when the seeds are still green on the inside the inside will get like a bluish color to it that's what you want to look for all right so if they're not totally ripe you can't eat them you're not going to die but you don't want to eat a lot of the ones that still have a lot of green seeds on the inside you don't want that the other determining factor i go by is that simply you push on it and the seeds come right out the softer they are the riper they are the safer you are very simple very simple process very interesting flavor it has a nice, sweet, almost tastes, very hard to explain this, but the sweetness almost tastes a little bit like Nutra-sweet or sweet and low type of artificial sweetener. It almost tastes like that kind of a sweetener. But the skin, after you get all the seeds and that sweetness out, you kind of chew on it a little bit. The skin has like a tutti-frutti bubblegum flavor to it. It tastes a little bit like uh, Wrigley's Fruit, what is that called? Wrigley's Fruit Loops? Fruit, fruity gum? Wrigley's has like a fruit gum. Comes in a yellow package and all that fruit fruit gum. It tastes like that gum a little bit when you chew on the skin. After you get past the seeds and all that artificial saccharin taste, you get to the next level and you can taste that fruity flavor once you start nibbling on the skin. And it releases this very interesting flavor. It's a very pleasant type of a of a berry. Now, I wouldn't necessarily make wine out of these. Some people were saying that they would want to make a wine out of it. I, I wouldn't, man, you would need a lot of those berries. And I don't know if they have enough sugar in them per se to make a wine out of it. You can probably add them to a, a grape or a, another berry that you're going to make wine out of. Or you simply add sugar to this just because you want this flavor by itself. You might be able to just add sugar to it and ferment that that way and get that fruity flavor out of it. But I wouldn't just like expect to like make a whole jug of this stuff, smash it all up, and just start fermenting it. I wouldn't 
I, I never tried it per se. I mean, I can one year if I let enough of these grow and I could get, you know, five gallon buckets worth out of it. I would try one five gallon buckets worth. But again, you're going to have to add water to this because it's still, it's watery, but at the same time, there's not enough water in it to actually ferment it. It would be like a slimy mix. So if you want to make wine with it, you're going to have to mix one part of water to it or maybe a half part water to it. It's just not, you need water to ferment it. So I'll eat these last two. One of them was slightly bitter. Slightly. Normally I spit it out, but for the sake of doing this video, I'm not. It's not going to kill me. All right, sorry about that. You probably won't notice, but my camera just shut off and I had to replace the battery. So I lost my place as to what I was just talking about. So I don't remember, but I'll end this video anyway. But before I do, I'll show you a quick look at the flower. Okay, that's what the flower looks like. And again, this is what the leaf looks like. I'm pretty sure I showed you that. And the plant structure itself is just kind of a, it grows like a tomato plant, kind of, but it's a mix between like a tomato plant and a pepper plant. Its stems are like a pepper plant, but it, it's long and viney like a tomato plant. It's just a strange kind of plant. It is in the Salonsi family too, by the way. So, yeah, I don't recommend eating the berries if they're bitter or if they're hard or don't eat green the green berries. I'll split a green one open for you. You see what it did? You see all the things shoot out? See how those seeds are green like that? Get in the light if I could. See that? You don't want to eat them like that. And believe me, I don't even want to taste test one of those. So... Yeah, as long as if you let them ripen, you're good to go, and you shouldn't have a, a problem with it. And they go by the name of Sunberry or Wonderberry. I think there's another name for them, too. But there's a couple names. You, they're all the same thing, basically. So I, I don't really know of any difference between them. I've grown, I've specifically bought Sunberry, and I specifically bought Wonderberry, and they are basically the same exact thing, so... All right, so that's just a quick video on the Sunberry. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. Take care.